hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can create a blog page in your wordpress website so let me show you what is a blog page so when i click on this blog you will see that i have a blog page like this where all of my latest blog posts are listed and here user can check out my blog post in a single page so you have other category pages like this as you can see there are some category pages but the blog pages contain all of your blog post so let's check how you can create a blog page like this in wordpress so i will show you two different method here i am using the cadence theme and you can create a blog page using this free cadence theme and you can create a separate design using the pro cadence blocks plugin so let's check how you can do that so first of all let's check how you can create a free blog page in cadence theme so for this all i have to do is just go to the pages section and create a page called blog and here you can set the title blog like this or you can add a custom page title as well now make sure to change this link to forward slash blog and then you need to publish this page first now let's close here and we can set it like full width and we can set it like content style to unbox like this and let's click on save now let's go back here and we need to set this page as a blog page so for this all i have to do is go to settings and i will click on reading and here by default you have your latest post here in the reading page so you have to click on a static page and select that same blog page for your post pages and let's close this let's go to pages and as you can see there is a tag post page so let's click on view here and as you can see that this page is now contain our latest blog post so you can further customize the layout so let's click on edit page here and let's click on the layout and we can change it to something like normal let's click on save let me view this page and as you can see this is how the blog page looks like now let's check how you can control it so by default as you can see there are nine blog posts showing in our blog page so to edit that we need to go back here go to settings and click on reading and here you can select the number of posts that you want to show in the blog page so i want to select nine posts for this page let's click on save changes now let me refresh it and as you can see that now i have nine blog posts showing up in my blog page and we have a pagination like this so user can see all the blog post within a single page so this is how you can create a blog page using the free cadence theme or you can do the same method with any other theme like generate press k bloxy theme or any other gutenberg based theme so the blog page is literally same you can enable it with any other theme as well so here we are using the cadence theme and we can further customize the look of our blog page using the cadence blocks pro plugin so let me quickly activate that so let me go to dashboard let's click on plugins and let me activate the cadence blocks pro extension so let me activate that now let's go to settings and let's click on reading here and instead of setting the blog page i will select keep it as select let's click on save changes now let's go to the pages now the blog page don't have that post page tag so we can customize this so if you click on here it will show a blank page so we need to edit this page and add our own post loop or post grid so in premium version of the cadence blocks you have the post grid option so if you are using free version you can enable this post block here like this so it will show the latest blog post so you can set number of post but there is no pagination option showing up in the free version so for this you need to use the cadence blocks pro plugin so that you will get this block so let me click on plus click on browse all and you have to simply search for post and here instead of post you will see a new option post grid sas carousel so let me click on here and i can select 
like this so let me choose any of the design so let me choose this type of design and as you can see i have my post grid carousel so you can set like number of post so by default it will show six number of blog post and i can enable pagination let's click on save let me click on here and as you can see we have six blog post and there is this pagination option so that user can move to the next page so let's click on edit page here and you can change the layout of this blog so by default there is two columns so let me change it to three column here as you can see now three blog post will show in one row and you can also change that individually for different screen sizes so above 1500 pixel you can set three blog post and you can reduce it to two for your tablet like this and let me click on save now let me refresh it and as you can see that now three blog post is showing per row and there is six number of blog posts showing up in the first page so you can also adjust that here so you can set it like nine blog post and it will show a three row so let me set it to nine let me click on save and let me refresh this page and as you can see that now there is nine blog post showing up in the first page and then you will see the pagination option so this is how you can add the post grid block so let me click on here and let me increase it to three now you can further customize it by clicking on the style button here and you can change the text alignment to center like this and here you can set a border like this and let's select the border color here as you can see the border is now added or you can set a subtle border like this and you can now click on content settings and you can set a padding around the content like this 18 pixel or 20 pixel so that it will show nicely and keep a left and right spacing so you can set a padding around the content and you can also change the content background like this so as you can see the content background is changed so you can play around the style by the style tab here and you can also enable box shadow for this content and you can adjust the blur value like this and you can also change the color of the box shadow like this and you can also change the header background like this so let me click on here and let me set a header background like this so you have all the controls and you can change the content setting you can change the content background you can change the footer settings so you can see footer border color so you can set that as well and you can also set a footer background if you want like this and let's click on advance and you have all the options to change the content as well so let's click on above title category and you can select category color so let me click on here or you can change it to black and you can also change the typography of that category or you can change the font size so let me change it to 16 pixel and you can change the line height and everything you can change the font weight let's click on title setting and you can hide the title like this you can set the title color here and you can set the typography of the title and then you have the below title meta so you can enable date here like this and you can also show updated date here or you can show author here like this so author is showing up here and you can also click on category to show category below the title so you have all the options to customize it further now you can click on excerpt and you can change the excerpt here so you can change the size of this excerpt so let me click on here to reset and you can also enable custom excerpt length and you can reduce it to 20 like this so it will show a short description of the post and you can also enable read more button like this and you can align to button like this so i don't want that and you can also change the footer meta like you can enable force align to the bottom so it will show always in the bottom with a alignment so you can enable that you can also enable show tax here and you can enable show category in the footer section as well so you have all the options and you can also show author icon like this and you can show the total number of comments 
so this is how we can customize this block let's click on save and let me refresh it and as you can see that we have designed our block page so in this way we can achieve different type of design in your block page and if you don't want to use that you can also use the default archive layout option so for this let me click on here and let me remove that and let me click on save let's go back here let's go to the dashboard let's go to the settings and i will click on reading and you can also use the free version to design the block page so let's click on here let's go to the block page now so i will type forward slash block and as you can see that this is now using the archive layout of your theme so to customize it further we can click on customize button so if you don't want to use the cadence blocks pro then you can customize the archive page in your theme settings so i will click on post page layout click on archive layout and here you can select this option like in content or above content like this i will click on above content and you can also set the alignment of the title so let me click on to center and you can set the minimum height like 200 or you can set it like 50 pixel like this or you can set it to something like 100 pixel so by default i will select the default height and you can also enable breadcrumbs in the block page as well like this and you can also change the layout so you can set it to narrow layout if you want and you can set a full width layout or enable right sidebar so you have all the options so you can also select on box here like this as you can see when you click on box it will show the content in a box layout and you can also select unboxed and you can also change the number of column like this so you can show two column two content per row and you can also change it to three like this and you can also further customize it so by default the feature image is showing like this so if you are using 16 is to 9 ratio image then you can click on here and the image will be shown in 16 is to 9 ratio or you can show 1 is to 1 ratio image like this or you can show 3 is to 4 image like this so you have all the controls to show the feature image so i will select 16 is to 9 ratio and you can also select the image size so i will select medium large and you can also show it to thumbnails so that the image size will be lower here but the quality will be reduced a little bit as you can see quality is dropped so let's click on medium large here and you can also change the category here so by default it is set to normal so you can change it to a pill shape category like this so it is looking quite good or you can set it under line so i will select the pill size here and you can set a divider as well now you can change the meta settings here so as you can see you can enable or disable the author so if you don't want that you can disable that author and it won't show here and you can set a date label here like this posted on march 28 or you can show a last updated date here and let's enable the label so that it will show updated on september 11 so you have all the controls to show different meta options and you can also enable category here in the bottom section and you can disable this category so i will keep it disabled and you can also set custom excerpt length so by default it is set to 55 so let me reduce it to 22 or 20 here like this so that it will show a excerpt like this or you can totally disable the excerpt as well so you can just click on the i button and it will disable the excerpt from here so i will keep it 220 and you can also change the read more button like this so you can say set it like full article and you can see that the button is now changed or you can also disable that here so this is how you can further customize the content of this archive page and you can also design it like you can change the background color of the title so this is the title and you can change the background color here like this and you can change the title to something like white like this and you can also show a description so you have to add a meta description for this page and then you have the breadcrumbs color and background overlay color so you can add a overlay color like this so you can adjust around the opacity 
and you can also add a border here and you can set like three pixel border and let me set a blue border or something let me set it to a red border here so let me increase it to show you like this so this is how you can add a border below the title so you can change it to a different color to something like this and you can also change the title color as well so this is the post item title color so this is the color so you can change that to something different so that it will show a link and you can also change the item category color like this so you can change it to something like red so that it will add a red accent in the category section and in the same way you can change the font size and everything so you can click on here and you can change the size of this title like this so let me reduce it to something like 20 pixel and you can see that this size of the title is now reduced and you can also set it to set different transform so you can set it to capitalize like this so i will keep it like that and you can change the styling so you can change it to medium medium italics like this and you can also change the meta color and you can change the side background and content background so let me change it to the content background here and as you can see the background of this content is now changed so this is how you can change the background so i like to keep it something like this so i can just reduce the opacity something like that so it will looks good so let's change it to something like greenish tint so i can set a greenish tint like this so this is how you can change the background of your content as well so you can play around it so let me quickly reset it and let me publish it let me close it here and as you can see that we have designed our blog page using the free cadence theme so either you can use the free cadence theme to design the layout like this or you can use a custom block like post grid using the cadence blocks pro plugin and you will achieve a blog page like this i hope you have planned how to create a blog page in wordpress and if you are using other themes then the process will be same all you have to do is create a blank page and go to your settings and reading and you have to set this page as a blog page and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye